Hey folks, JLove47 here. You know, this is what I want to say to you all. Stop victimizing yourself. I'll say that again for my hood people out there. Stop fucking yourself over. Stop selling yourself short. You know, I talk to a lot of people and I listen to their stories and they express their this thing for people like I have been over the last week or so when they talk about um how fucked up people are blah 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 this person did that to me this person did this to me and all this other shit just like I have but when are we going to look in the mirror and take accountability because you know my uncle had said something to me and he said Jay I've sat back for years and watched you stupidly Stu he said it with a passion he said stupidly he felt that when he said it Stupidly, you just you just lay down and let motherfuckers take shits on you. you. Just willingly allowed yourself to be taken advantage of, and you can't say you didn't see it coming because some of these these motherfuckers was fucking you over constantly. And then you sit back and you complain. And I'm sitting there like, what you what you mean? Ain't nobody fuck over me. You know, obviously when you first hear that, you get defensive. Like, I ain't nobody fuck over. You know, you, you get defensive. You know, you, it's like almost like somebody's, in a sense, patronizing you in some way. You know, it's like I, I ain't know nothing. But when I thought about it, With one of the guys that you guys are familiar with. How many times did I sit back and let him fuck over me? You gotta ask yourself this, man. You Sometimes you gotta be real with yourself. People are not real with themselves. And it took me a while to be real with myself. But I brought most of this on myself. I have to blame this guy right here. This dumb motherfucker right here. I can't blame that person, this person, that person, this person. Or, you know, one of the guys that y'all know was Dante. I can't blame them people that fucked over me. I gotta blame myself. Because I saw what was coming. It ain't like you didn't see. It ain't like you didn't know who they was. If somebody cheats on you, for an example, and you sit back and you allow it to happen, you forgive them and take them back. And they cheat on you again. And then you take them back. And they cheat on you a third time. And you take them back. I know this is getting kind of redundant, isn't it? Yeah, well, I'm going to say it again. And they cheat on you a fourth time. And you take them back. And they cheat. Knowing how humans are. And how we take advantage of weakness. Ask yourself this. Why would you expect somebody to respect you when you don't even respect yourself? And it was crazy for me to expect them to love me and to embrace me and to respect me when I apparently didn't respect myself. Because if I respected myself, I wouldn't allow myself to keep getting taken advantage of. I wouldn't allow myself to keep getting ran over, used, and 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 abused. The social, really, it was like abuse.
you, you know, I just sit and, and I, I hear people talk about their situation sometimes, man. And I'm just like, so you going to go right back with her or you going to go right back with him? You know what I mean? You're going to deal with that again? You haven't learned? What is it going to take? And then when you keep finding yourself back at square one, back in the same situation, because your stupid ass gave them another chance. I don't know why you felt like they was going to change, but you forgave them again. Now you're you back in the same situation, hurt and disappointed. It's like, are you stupid? What's wrong with you? It's only, you can only blame the victimizer, but so much. The victim is at fault. It's the victim's fault. They, you choosing to be a victim. Because you already know, you it, unless you just stupid and, and mentally retarded, you already know what it's hitting for. You already know what you know is in store. You already know what this person is capable of. They already showed you their true colors. And like Maya Angelou said, a lot of people don't want to accept things for what it is. But I believe it was a quote by Maya Angelou. She said, believe who people are. Like when they when they show you who they are, believe who they are. Don't try to tell yourself, oh, they might change. Or I don't think this is the real them. They're just going through something right now. No. I've been fucked over too many times. And at the end of the day, it ain't nobody motherfucking fault but Jarnell. J Love, because you sat there like a dumb ass fool and laid on your back and, and let them just do what they want to. It was almost like get, getting hold out, b believe it or not. Like, like just, you just, might as well just got fucked. <laughs> I hate to use that example, but I just can't think of nothing else to say, man. It, it's like just letting somebody just hold you out. And I've noticed that with most people who get taken advantage of, I, I noticed that we kind of put ourselves in these situations and then we act surprised. But what have you done to contribute to this situation? No, I'm not saying what did you cause to make them do this, but did you allow them to do this? Because a lot of times when you talk to people, man, they talk about how people fucked them over and they did them so dirty. Th that ain't the first time. It's usually the, the fourth, fifth, sixth or seventh time. I've forgiven this particular motherfucker several times, and they fucked me over several times. So it ain't no excuse, man. There's no excuse. You gotta look yourself in the mirror. You're a stupid, dumb, gullible, credulous motherfucker. You docile, submissive, stupid bitch. That's what the fuck you is, and that's what I called myself. Cause I, and I'm sorry. I'm not disrespecting myself, but that's exactly what the fuck I was. I don't deserve any respect. When you don't respect yourself, you somebody need to take advantage of you. You're stupid. You want to be dumb and, and keep giving people, you know, giving this person money and they keep not paying you back. You, 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 you're you stupid. You deserve to be taken advantage of. You want to be a dumbass fool? Then you need to be treated like a dumbass fool. And that's what my uncle told me one time. He said, you know what? I don't want to hear it. He said that about the Dante situation. He said, I don't want to, I don't want to hear it. I, I, I just, I, I really don't want to hear it. He got real indignant with me. Like, nigga, I don't want to hear it. Because I don't know who this friend is or why you... I don't know if you desperate for friendship. I don't know what, what's going on with you. I don't I don't know. But you you stupid. And I don't feel sorry for nothing that happened to you because you keep bringing on yourself. You're smart. You got, are you just blind? Are you stupid? Wait, wait, this person has not shown you anything that made you feel like they were going to change or become a better person. But yet you keep, oh, they might become a better person or they might change. You're stupid. You're desperate for friendship. Whatever the fucking case may be, whatever it is... You're a damn fool, and, and you don't deserve nothing more than what you're allowing yourself to be subjected to. You're subjecting yourself to abuse. And that's all I have to say to the people that, you know, because it's one thing to, to, to um, you know, get on the bad people. But what about you? you you're just as worse as them because you're stupid sitting there letting it happen to you. It ain't like you, you're not aware. It's not like you don't know what you're going into. They showed you their true colors time and time and time again. And you can sit back and continuously let them fuck you up. It's like a nigga cheating on a girl. And then he cheat on her again and slap her and beat her. And you keep letting this nigga that keeps slapping you, beating you, and fucking you over and cheating on you. He treating you like shit. And you keep welcoming, me, welcoming him back in your life. You don't deserve any better. 
if you don't feel like you're worth more than what you're being subjected to and how you're being treated, then why should anybody else? So I just wanted to do this video, man, and, and just say, uh, you know, sometimes the victim, you're to blame. The victim is at fault a lot of times in this situation because you're really not a victim. You're victimizing yourself. Victims victimize themselves. Most, most times, believe it or not, they victimize themselves. And I just, I just wanted to get that out my chest, man, and just say, you know, don't play the victim, poor me, poor me. You're doing this to yourself. That ain't nobody fault but yours because you don't have to be in that situation. You're choosing to be in that situation. You are choosing to be victimized. You are choosing to be fucked over. You're allowing yourself to be fucked over because you're sitting there, laying there like a weak, helpless ass fool, not doing nothing to change the situation. And if that's what you want, fine. But don't sit around complaining and expecting nobody to help you because you can help your damn self. I might want to hear about you. Oh, this person fucked me over. That person fucked me over. You let them. That's all I have to say. Taylor 47. <laughs> Wiser and much better than I've ever been before. I've learned. I have learned. I have truly learned. And hopefully you guys out there realize that you are worth more than what you're allowing yourself to, to, to put up with. I have. And I refuse to be used again. <laughs>